Okay, it's been a little while since I did anything with TD Ableton, so I wanted to come back to that and install it on my newer laptop. Um, for those that don't know, TD Ableton is a uh, free package that uh, is available for Touch Designer. It's actually built in uh, now and allows you to do two-way communication with Ableton Live. And I uh, have a little bit of experience with this on my MacBook, but I uh, haven't really been working with it lately, so I thought I'd put it on the, the Lenovo here. So um, let me get rid of OBS here because we don't really need that. <clears throat> And here I have Ableton with a few tracks, and I'm just going to start some drums up here and hit play. So the shape down in the bottom left is specific to this drum beat here. The other shape is just uh, a gradual increasing circle with uh, each measure. And then I can bring in my other percussion. And you'll notice that at each beat, the shape changes. The number of sides. And then we can go into some other melodic stuff here. which is a um, Euclidean sequencer that I did a couple videos on before. It's really handy for coming up with stuff to test with quickly. So, of course, this would be a lot more fun with a hardware controller instead of just clicking around with the mouse. Um, looks like I've got my circle still on here. I can turn that off here. But basically, each one of these represents a track coming over from Ableton. Um, the OSC and MIDI data coming over that allows me to grab the level. So I can grab the level of this first one here and assign the movement of that fader uh, level to something in Touch Designer. So really it's, it's kind of like the sky's the limit at that point. So yeah, just a little demo and uh, definitely a lot more you can do with this uh, and probably we'll do some more videos down the line, but uh, just wanted to get back to an example. Catch you later.